today I'm going to be talking to you about shadow batting and this is something which I want all students to listen and to learn and to practice. It's really really important that the muscle memory of batters improve and just coming and having a session once a week, hitting some balls uh, somewhere else in a club net or in a county age group net will not improve your cricket until and unless there's a lot of shadow cricket you're doing. So whenever you're at home, you're, you, know, you have a cricket bat in your hand and you're doing the right things, you're doing the right shadows so that, the, so that every movement starts to sit in your mind and the game gets easier and easier. So here are simple things which people can be practicing at home. I've placed a little bit, I've placed a ball and I've placed a ball. It's all about visualization. Everyone has a stump at home. So you can have a stump, you can put a stump in. You can look at your coaching points. You, know, you can look at your grip, at your grip, so you're having two Vs. So you check every ball, you're having a grip, your grip is right. Standing on the middle of the leg stump with a guard with your feet aligned and thinking that you're playing just like a match and you're visualizing a bowler is coming in and a bowler bowls and a ball bowls there and you're facing a fast bowler and you're getting there and you're defending a fast bowler so it's again just you know shadow batting so i'm standing in i'm watching the ball and i'm thinking that a bowler is running into me and i'm and it's coming into the bowling point i lift my bat and i'm ready and the ball comes in and i come in and i defend that ball i can do the same when i think if it's a spinner then the, ball pitches up a little bit here, slightly closer, and I'm standing, and I'm going to think, right, here we go, same as spinner coming in, I'm getting in line to that ball, and I'm coming in and defending the ball. We can do the same with various other shots, you know, we can look at, we can look at playing some back foot defense, again, we can look at playing butt shots, where we are, you know, we're looking at our movements, back and across, getting behind the line. The most important thing is just doing lots of shadow batting, doing the right kind of things. So I'm going to do four or five different shots and I want young batters to look at that and practice that at home all the time. The more we practice, the more the game sits in our mind. So we we'll start, pick up front foot defense. Here I'm looking at my head over the ball, I'm getting my weight transfer. So if I do this 20 times a day, I'm learning a correct move. So I'm, I'm working on heels, getting onto the toes and working on movements. So that, that could be a front foot defense. We can then look at playing a drive shot. Again, picking the bat up, getting to the ball, hitting the ball we can do it with the ball we can do it without the ball if you want to have something in front of your eye just put a ball or even if that becomes a little bit dangerous that you might hit something at home just have a go because visualize that to be a ball but pick up get to the ball practice the drive so you're working on shadow batting if you're thinking of playing a short of a length ball push the stump back, place a ball which is going to be, place a cone which could be like short of a length, stand there, get back and across, ball comes in this line, defend. And again, you're trying to do these things correctly. Stand on that position and think of just moving your hand so that you're learning the movement. So to conclude, practice the shots, practice it correctly. Don't have to do it fast, do it slowly. So slow movements, but correct movements. If you do that, you're only going to get better. Also guys, we are very thankful to the support we have received in 45 days. As we stand today, we've got about 280 subscribers. So please start commenting, and there are loads of comments which are coming in. Right at the end, you will see a comment column subscribe the channel and start commenting and we can share you know ask me questions and show there'll be things which we can 
help you out and they could be and we could interact and help you in your cricket development.